Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back and Glitchpunk isn't really like GTA 1. Yeah, GTA 1 and GTA 2 though, that's the thing. <laughs> so, is everybody back from Twitch as well and stay, and uh, YouTube? So, we're going to jump into playing Cloudpunk. We've just finished um, Spyro 2 and I'm going to take a break from Spyro 3 just for a bit because I, I want to make sure we don't dry up again so let's play cloud punk it's only a 12 hour game apparently for completionists so it's not massive it's more like cyberpunk and gta 2 maybe the cyberpunk aspect will make me like it i don't know that's a funky loading screen it's a lagging loading screen Ooh, we're in cloud punk Oh, it's Vauxhall based. It's a bit loud. Turn it down. There we go. Uh, quality? Maximum, yes. Uh, do we have a windowed? Do we have a. No, we just have full screen. Okay, vertical sync. Yep. Yeah. I don't think sync has an H on the end of it, does it? Max frame rate. Let's do 90. Lock mouse, running background, cutting accuracy. Wow, they really have gone all out with. Uh, the bits. It's a nice screen now. Controls. Uh, okay, I'm sure it'll teach us. I'm sure it isn't as difficult as GTA 2. <laughs> Maybe. All right, all right. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We'll add it to my wish list. My game is more GTA 1. Glitch Punk is like GTA 2. But instead of neoclassical, it's cyberpunk. Glitch punk. It's not even out yet. <laughs> All right, I've added it down anyway. It's, it might be worth a try, like you say. Right, let's jump into Cloudpunk. New game. Oh, I can't. I can't get out of it. I need to remove. Um, Cloudpunk from the voting list because <laughs> we know somebody's going to vote for it when I'm already playing it. Uh, bookmarks. Try that again. Takes some time to load. I wonder if I've installed it on the slower drive. Oh, well, that's pretty. Accelerate, brake, steer left, steer right. Oh, you can steer with your mouse as well. I'll steer with your Ascend, descend. Oh, this looks so pretty. Look how pretty he is. Control, come in. This is... Wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver of 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rania. No, uh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who is Carmine? He was driver 14FB. What happened to him? He, he retired last month. Good for him. Not really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, he won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your Hava? Okay, I guess. Seems all right. I read your references. You're a good driver, but navigating a hava around Navalis isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Now, this city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Remember, you're not driving an old internal combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. Okay. Uh, one more thing, 14FC. Welcome to Cloudpunk. <laughs> I love when they say the name of the game. Gas. Do we need gas? This looks amazing. It really does look amazing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Get back up. I almost had it. Oh, there we go. 
pick up a payload. Oh, I got a chip in for refueling. Nice. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, okay, I see it, I see it. Oh, con this looks amazing. Vertical repulses, yeah, I know. I love the line renderers behind it. Oh, we're on the highway. How low can we go? Oh, we can go all the way down. I don't think you can die. Discovered lower midtown. I got 50 bucks. Awesome. I love the anime face there. That's so cool. Can we just break out at any point we can? There's people. Find a place to park your vehicle. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can actually get out as well. Oh, cool. Press X to switch to third person. There's me. That's a very funky style. You can even go into first person. Wow, this game's got half the stuff AAA quality games don't have. And you can just get back in anytime you want. Oh, that's cool. Imagine if Transformers PS2 wins. Then I'll play Transformers, I don't mind. Everyone's so dark. Gang member. Hey, come here a minute. Why? We want to talk to you. So talk. What do you do? Delivery driver. You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. If you say so. <laughs> Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't <laughs> respect us. I would Show it. me something Maybe. to respect then. You're sassy, acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. Razor, are you a shaving robot? <laughs> you don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4-0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Nah, much worse. Urban renewal, bitch. Oh, yeah. Wait, he what? Swore. Urban renewal? Yeah, community project. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. I mean, no, I don't get <laughs> it at all. There ain't That's nothing brilliant. in the Volus that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. We would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... You assumed wrong, but that's all right. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. <laughs> you stay loose, Cloudpunk. We see you later. I find a glitch in it already. You saw me looking around. Watch the rain. Right, if I look there, look at the rain in front. And as I move, the rain moves with me. <laughs> but this game is seriously so damn beautiful. Look at it. It's just gorgeous. Xbox gave me a four pound gift card. I got Dragon's Dogma. Nice. Sarah says Dragon's Dogma is really good. He sounds like the guy from We Happy Few or Fable. That's true, he does. Otherwise known as English. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. Oh, I got some plastic parts. I've got an inventory too. Awesome. 
See, I'm just exploring now because this is awesome. Who are you? Oh, okay. He did not like me. I love the art style. It's so beautiful. That's clearly ripped off of Cyberpunk. Come on. Punch card. What's a punch card? It's a punch card. It's covered in holes. They seem random, but there is a pattern. The card itself is heavy and thick. It feels like it could survive a bomb blast. <laughs> Hashtag GPU flex. It is actually. It's a semi GPU flexing. Hold on. Ah. Trying to get to see the views and stuff on my phone. There we go. Make a laser gun out of a torch. <laughs> I don't know if you can. I thought I picked some up then. Oh, food. Oh no. Here's food. Beautiful music. Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Oh, what should we have? Let's have a candy bar. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. <laughs> Voxel Punk. It's beautiful. I would literally just chill at the food time. I know what you mean. I'm guessing I can't get through there. Did I die? What is it? It's like a bridge or something. Tico. Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Seen who? Nari. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. I can see some of your endoskeleton. No, I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. Who is Nari? She is gone, and when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Oh. Oh, um, sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here then. Maybe the Marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. Is that a I quest? Will. Who made this game? Because it's bloody incredible. Dark Lord. Oh, actually, there was a running the background option. I want that off. There we go. Who made it? Are there any humans in this game? I'm assuming I'm human. Oh, Ironlands. What other games have they made? Except Cloudpunk. Oh, I'm phoning home. It's a Wally game <laughs> with mixed reviews. What about Cloudpunk? Very, very positive. This game's awesome. It reminds me of MK Deception. Why does it remind you of MK Deception? I need to turn the, I need to turn the music down. There we go. I'm just loving exploring so much. It's so pretty. I can't get into any of shops. I can't 
on getting through. Life call. It's so pretty. TK reminds me of NK sig Deception significantly. He has a calm voice and told you to send the messages for him. <laughs> I can't remember that one. Oh, he's a funky guy, isn't he? Alright, let's go do what we were told. That's cool. I like that teleportation system. Wow, look at the, them reflections. Is that even reflecting properly? Yeah, I guess it is actually. That's so good looking. <laughs> this game's amazing. And I've not even done anything yet. They do that a lot in the story mode. I remember them saying, pass this message along and stuff in the story mode. But that's about it. This is proper cyberpunky, this one. I like it. The world is huge. It does seem to be huge so far. Pick up payload. 14 FC. This is going to the Marrow. Where's that? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Be careful down there. It's busy and it's a maze. Not exactly the rich part of town. The kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. Carmenus was a great driver. You got big boots to fill. He flew delivery for over 10 years, you know? How about the driver before him? 14 FA? <laughs> Lasted one night. <laughs> <laughs> Most drivers only last one night. Uh -oh. They quit the job? One way or another, yeah. You seem like a nice kid, 14 FC. I hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. <laughs> what's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery, and don't ask what's in the package. Everything else is just guidelines. Okay. How, wait, have you played Gary's Mod? No, I've never played Gary's Mod before. Oh, we get to fly again. Woo! Whoa. So you can crash, but nothing much happens. You just go, Tsh. <laughs> This is what happens to Elon Musk takes over the world. Exactly, this is why Elon Musk should take over the world. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Here. I'm surprised there's no laws for flying over buildings. Oh, what's this? Can I park in here? There is parking space. Cop cars. Oh, it's a mechanic. Repair. Antenna. This looks like what used in ancient times. Antennas are actually needed purely cosmetic. Sure, why not? I have an antenna, ladies and gentlemen. This is so fifth elementy. Oh, here we go. What have we done now? Ooh, huge frame drop. There we go. Well, controls calling me. Hey, uh, 14 FC, are you there? I just remembered I didn't talk to you about the ascenders. I think I know how they work, Control. You do? They go up and also down, right? Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. It's about vert ceilings. Not those again. Say again, 14 FC. Sorry, just making a kind of joke. Go ahead, Control. Hoppers are tuned to a vertical field frequency based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. 
That's why you need the Ascenters. They take you up or down a layer, and as they carry you, they reset your Hava's field frequency. Ah, uh, it's them the thing. vertical ceiling and floor. But Hava's fly just fine outside Novalis without vert fields. Ah, so those pink dots are the vert fields, and they take you up and down around the city. Okay. That's true. Your Hava will fly fine in areas without the fields. Even in old ruined parts of the city that are off the grid. But the grid holds everything together in the city. Tracks you, gives you access to the nets, the comm, the mapping systems, the reserve power if your engine stalls. And it stops us just flying straight Whoa. up to the spire too, right? Damn cops. Yeah, that's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs up there anyway. You might be surprised, kid. Park vehicle. <laughs> this game's so cool. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Oh, what's this? Trixie Dio. Did you try the Okonomiyaki? Isn't that a pancake? Right! With fish flakes! Oh, it's to die for! I wouldn't trust the fish flakes here in Novalis. Would you like to appear on my food review channel? It's on all the nets. We're looking for people to react to different stimuli. Can you pretend to be sick on cam? What? No. <laughs> There's a free meal in it for you. Or would you pretend to be really annoyed? Our viewers love that. I am annoyed. That's perfect. <laughs> right. That's very random. And my entire toenail just came off. That is not good. <laughs> you might need to get that looked at. Coolant. Okay, that could be useful. Merchant, come here. What are you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Soda can, candy bar, water, energy drink. Sell. What we got? Okay, so currency and this is called limbs. Let's sell that. Okay. Thanks. Hey, come back anytime, lady. It just got caught on my other toe. Ouch. That sounds painful. Um We're so going up there in a minute. Engineer, let's see one. Hey you, I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you, I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah, still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure, it seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents, the city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. So it's They're a scary like place then. Trying to ray with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? 
Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you <laughs> see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Okay. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or orange. <laughs> if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? I lost the story. If they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. Thank you. Um, I got an achievement for that. Find the engineer. Great. I don't know if I should pull the thing off or leave it there. I have no hey, idea. Nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? When does this take place? I don't know. It's not said yet. Vegan ramen. Okay. Thanks for this. Y'all come back. You hear? Right, should we try this lift thing? Because it looked awesome. Oh! Okay, we are literally just going up then. Wow! It's such a beautiful game. How do I get in? Oh, here we go. Hollow cast. Please enter your security code. Uh. Okay, I don't know my security code. Okay. Not another waiter. So that's what it looks like in third person. I got a really large memory chip. Okay. Games like this reminds me of Gmod, but when I play it's Gmod, it's nothing like this. <laughs> I've not I've not properly ever played Gmod. It's one of those games that I need to one day. Oh, it's coming back now. Just my car. Gmod is barely any fun on your own. Yeah, I can imagine you need to play it with other people. This is such a beautiful game. I'm really impressed so far. What's this? Another punch card. Okay. With other people, it's a great game. Erwin Carver, that's him. Oh, thank God. This will change everything. Where do I sign? Right here, Mr. Carver. But please, call me Erwin. It's from my parents. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I, I thought it would be in cash. Limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. That way, you don't pay so much city tax on the transfers. Can I take that now? Sure. Here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. Y you want to see what's inside? I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? Just think, I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Two augments, no expense spared. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. It's all just a blur. Let's see, just rip here and... Oh. What is it? Gold? It's... old toys. My ship models, Oh dear. The R7 ICBM. I thought it was Spanish. rich. <laughs> the NASA shuttles? The UN Interplanetary 101? Why did they send these? It must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, let's see. Dear Irwin, we know these toys were important to you at one time. 
We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Oh, that's very Everything's sad. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. You're not supposed to know what's in them. That is very true. <laughs> but he volunteered to tell me, so... That's a pretty fire. It's always like this is sad. Yeah, I'm sure not every story is going to be sad, though, because it's a delivery job, isn't it? Good job, kid. I looked into your profile. It says you came from the Eastern Peninsula. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Novalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. It's not easy to break out in Novalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. Sure you will, kid. Just try making it through tonight first. We need you to head up to the mercantile district. You're moving up in the world. What's the job? Same as always. Take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse. B is a penthouse. <laughs> Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. Pick up payload in the warehouse. I will, but I want to see what if I can get these newspapers. I wouldn't want to live in a world like this. Too many circuit boards technology scares me. I'd absolutely live in a world like this. Even with all the rain. Because it's so pretty. I do kind of wish you could run a little bit faster. I know you technically still run... Oh, that glitches out when you do that. I know you are running, but it doesn't feel like you're running very fast. Here we go. I wonder what all the punch cards are for. Look at the lighting! Oh, it's so pretty! I don't get why it's all technology but constantly raining and everything's fine. <laughs> um, I know what you mean. I'm assuming it's probably because global warming has got so bad it constantly rains now maybe? I, I, don't, I don't know. It might stop raining later. That is clearly the Joker with green hair. <laughs> Do I have a security code in my inventory? Right. Okay. Don't know. Didn't say. What's the controls actually? Have we missed anything? Have we got everything? Accelerate. Action. Map. Oh, we have a map. Awesome. Whoa, it's a big map. I just don't get how it's not all sort shorting out. Oh, got ya. Don't know. <laughs> Let's go to this merchant and sell a bunch of stuff we've got. What are you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. I got it. Sell. I can't sell punch cards. Okay, I can't sell Thanks. punch cards for some reason. Hey, come back any time, lady. Right. I'm assuming I have to get back in the car. Which is Celebrity yeah. Automata Personality Corp for sale at Gary's Automata Grove. 
kills my car. This one? Yeah. Load Hova AI. Load assistant. Load computer. Helper. Do you want to activate the generic <laughs> automata? Yes, that's the one. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not sir. My name is Rania. <laughs> How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? Uh, I'm not a mister. Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic automata. Would you like to upgrade to my limited offer, monthly subscription, premium mode? Now, just how much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI? On storage. I'm enjoying this game. It's really pretty. Storage media. I do. Then the transfer cost to unlock the automata is 1500 limbs, sir. How would you like to pay? Direct transfer. Please insert storage media. Transfer in process. Automata personality camis will be activated in approximately 20 minutes. Would you like to deactivate the generic automata personality now? Yes. Deactivating. Please enjoy your new automata. Good day, Mr. Rania. <laughs> Here we go. Gender pronouns still being an issue in this one. <laughs> I think it was more of a broken AI, to be honest. Well, that's cool. Oh, what we got here? Medical dealer. Oh, you from the east, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Okay. Jews. A, oh, a golden brown high was a steady come down. Everyone knows Jews are legal stimulant until the drug company failed to pay their kickback, stimulating muscle, muscle, brain and muscle to give you that extra boost. Thanks. I'm okay. You folks from the east are good with me. But no sec. Look at how pretty this game is. Oh. The rain also goes sideways if you look up. <laughs> that rain's glazed out. This game is pretty so it's gonna be, that's alright. Yeah, this game is absolutely beautiful. Such a beautiful game. I put peroxide on my toe and now it hurts bad. Maybe speak to your parents, buddy. See what they say. They're probably going to know better. Right. I so want to go trying to recreate this in Unity and sci-fi pack in a history RP. I know what you mean. It's so tempting. It's so pretty. There's something here. There it is. Broken organs. Ooh. Ones at work, ones in a different state. Oh, that's not good. Any family nearby you can ask? Can I get out that way? No, I'm pretty I'm pretty trapped in here. Uh, I have to go a long way around. If I walk to my grandparents' house. There you go. My grandparents will call them or something. Look at it. See if we've got real time reflections. <laughs> it's so pretty. Storeroom clerk. You the delivery driver? Yes, I'm from Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk? All right, here's the package. Don't open it, don't ask me about it, and don't be late. And before you ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. Okay, thanks. Is this real meat? What did I just say? 
<laughs> My toe hurts. Your toe will hurt. Your nails fell off. Come in, 14 FC. How are you handling the Hava so far? Hello, this is 14 FC. Yes, everything is totally fine. Relax, kid. You'll get the hang of it. What's giving you the most trouble? The traffic? Yeah, and how fast everyone drives. They all know exactly where they're going. You'll be that fast once you get your bearings. Faster, even. Just remember, the highways channel an induction loop through your hava. Right. It's pretty simple. When you're on the highways, it's like the road is moving under you. You'll get a big speed boost. Use the highways to get as close to your destination as you can, and then cut off when you're close. I can only park in the bays, right? That's right. Havas aren't meant to touch the ground. The repulsors on the parking bays keep the undercarriage a few centimeters off the ground. It's not just a technical restriction. Corpsec defines the parking around the city to maximize... I love how they've tried to really put into terms what's happening. Like, it could be BS, but it also could be very good. And it, it's, it's a nice try. I guess that's a good thing for us. And them too. Uh, traffic jams seize up the wheels of commerce. So if pretty. Kupzak have one priority, it's making sure business continues as usual. My sensitive skin is exposed. It will be. You've put your nail off. So yeah, you do get a speed boost when you go through here. A massive speed boost. I'm just sorry though. Okay, so we don't care if I ram into them. Good. Good to know. Oh. Where am I going? Here. Yeah, this'll do. Wow, this bit's even bigger. Can I park here? No. I can park there. I hate big cops running. Why? What's wrong with it? <laughs> they mostly do it right sometimes. Look at this place. Look how big it is. It has the non-British way of doing things. Oh, I can't go through there. Why can't I go through there yet? Hey, speak to me. Hmm, okay. Driving on the forward on the right side. Yeah, it kind of just looks like everybody's driving everywhere. Oh, I think this is the first bit we were at. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it from here. Look at the tiny little shop. No, I think I'm going to have to go round and find it. Nesta Cray. That's not. Oh no. No, that's not who I need. Can I park here? Nope. Go to computer store and ask them for seized services. You won't regret it. Seized services? Oh, <laughs> nice collider work. Okay, so I've got a park here then, there is no other way to place the park. Aren't you trying to head to the green diamond? Yeah, the green diamond's up there. See? Oh, actually, you might be right. Let's try again. You totally won't get locked up in prison voluntarily, right? Oh yes, you're right. I was trying to park at that side. Good call. Park 
park. There we go. Look at that one, that's proper fancy this car is. Merchant, we can sell some stuff to him. Recoup at AI Here's what I can offer you today. I like a bubblegum and water. A hoodie. Interesting. Let's sell that. Uh, how much money have I got? Oh, I've got one thousand. Let's get that jacket. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, I wait, look no, forward that's me. to seeing you again. Jacket. Jacket. I did buy the jacket. Where? I like this one. There we go. I've got a red jacket on now. Oh, that's the merchant again, isn't it? Oh, there's some parts around here. Look at those reflections, though. That's some really good reflections. There we go. Plastic, plasteel parts. Jack the car. What do you mean, jack the car? I don't think I can touch the car. Except drive it. Traffic accident reported in sectors one, two, six, and eight. Oh, the message here. Here's what I can offer you today. I can sell the plasteel parts I just got. Thanks. Steal the car you said was fancy. I don't think you can steal cars. <laughs> there we go. Butler. I have your delivery. Give it here. Rude. It says I'm to deliver to Mr. De Beer. That's my employer. Give it to me this instant. Hey, street rat. Has this been tampered with? What? No. Good. Most drivers ask what's in the package. Hmm, the smell makes them curious. What's in the package? <laughs> Dinner. Meat. From which animal? What a strange question. Good day. <laughs> so he's clearly a cannibal. Oh, vehicle upgrade unlocked. Red tracer. Ooh. Job complete, $100. Wait, can you not commit crimes? I don't know. I don't think so, because you're a legitimate business person, but then again, you can buy drugs, so... <clears throat> Control. 14 FC, are you back in Midtown yet? Look, kid, we messed up. We need you to get through a CorpSec security checkpoint. Now, you've never been scammed by Corpsec. We just paid to wipe your record, so we need them to hold a clean file on you. They won't recognize me? <laughs> Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, one more thing, kid. You need to go through on foot. So don't look suspicious. <laughs> or act suspicious. And don't mention Cloudpunk. Or me. Well, that's crit. That's dodgy already. Oh, wait, we're here. Oh, it's that place I couldn't get through. Uh. Do the drugs. It did say I could buy it, but I don't want to buy it if I'm trying to look suspicious, non-suspicious now. see either your citizen license or your voluntary contribution I wish you people would just call them bribes what's that nothing officer here's my details okay I just have to create a new record for you and then hold please I'm getting a message in my earpiece yes agent Rio no sir her name is Rania cloud punk 
I don't think so, sir. Yes, sir. I'll ask her. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if I think she's lying. Ma'am, are you now, or have you at any time been a part of the illicit delivery service known as Cloudpunk? Never heard of them. Hold, please. Yes, sir. She says she's never heard of them. I believe her, sir. Okay, <laughs> sir, I'll let her through. And I'll... She can hear me. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Yep. Okay, then. I'll do that. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, miss, you can go. Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our servers said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Want to play us some music? Maybe another time. Nothing to see here. Oh, there we go. I can just walk straight through. Woo! 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 Oh, that's probably suspicious, isn't it? Let's stop doing that. Dystopian. It is very dystopian. Plasteel parts. Return to your vehicle. Oh, okay. Rory Alpha. Yo, what is up, listeners? This your boy Rory Alpha giving you a shout out from Midtown, where I am with the people. Like this young lady here who is desperate to have her say on the Undernet's hottest loudcast. Could you get the microphone away from me? Oh, we have here another stuck up young woman, too busy shopping and using makeup. I call it fake up because it is really lies to trick men. But she doesn't even have time to talk to my listeners, the Bro Brothers. Your listeners are called the Bro Brothers? That's right. The Bro Brothers are my pack. Am I right? Ooh, ooh. And That's so cringe. Is about. Finally giving the bros a chance to speak out, to have their say. I don't think you want me on your show, and I sure don't want to be on it either. Now let's try to talk to someone better, bro brothers. We gotta find the real voice of the people. We need a real man on this show. Am I right? How about that corpse sec officer? He seems to be looking at you. He seems like a real man. All right, bros, we're gonna boost now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit up that <laughs> notification bell and I, I gotta go. <laughs> we just got ruined by telling. <laughs> I like it. Ah, so we got an uplifter. We're here. It does say return to my vehicle, but I'm just looting at this point. Okay, let's go up again. Oh no, that was down. Okay, maybe red's up then. Oh, it's restricted. What's the code, ladies and germs? 63721. Nope. Ah, okay, so we can't get out there yet. Julian Navigo. Your face looks familiar. Do you need some stems? It's nice to see the material emancipation girls got a job after Portal 2. <laughs> That's very true. Let me tell it to her here. I like it. Just brute force it. Oh yeah, because it's not only one to nine, it's also A, B, C, D as well. We're going to be there forever. <laughs> Brute fussing. We're going to be there for actually forever if we do that. <laughs> oh, Try every possibility. That'll take... it would take years. Oh, I can't tell him to go and talk to that guy down there. Automata custom personality is ready for instantiation. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yes, please. <laughs> Camus, are you there? It's you. I missed you. How are you? <laughs> Happy. 
What am I? Feels strange. You've been loaded into my vehicle's automata slot. Oh. Sorry, Camus. This is all I can afford right now. I was a bad dog? No, you were the best, Camus. I am just a hova now. Not as good. I know, I know. We'll get you a new body, I promise. It will just take a while. I have a new job. You don't play music anymore? I like music. Me too, Camus, but we need money. We lost the house. I oh had to dear. move us to Navalis. Oh no. We hate the city. We did. Maybe it's not so bad now. I'm doing deliveries. We are doing deliveries. I am helping. Yeah, we're a team, right? I will help. I feel not so good, though. I am sleepy now. It's the automata slot in the Hova car. It's pretty limited, and the hardware runs at a lower clock cycle, so you might need to take it easy for a while. Don't understand. Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded, but that's not supported with the hardware we have. Uh... <laughs> that means it might take you a bit longer to figure things out. But you'll get there. I'm... sleepy. Okay, rest for now, Camus. I'll bring you online soon. And Camus, I missed you too. That's adorable. It has been decreed. What's been decreed? What do you want about it? Kemp? <laughs> oh, not We sent someone else. We need you to. Damn it. Sorry. We need you to pick up a package from Cambria Heights. It's a residential zone. I'm sending a nav point now. Okay, on my way. Wait. 14 FC? Is there a problem? No, never mind. Good luck. I like control. He's trying to protect me. Not doing a very good job. His bosses get over him. But... To brute force the code. It'll take forever to do. <laughs> we could probably write a Python script to try, but it's still going to take a very long time. Zero to nine, so ten numbers. And A, B, C, and I think D as well. All different patterns of it. Her dog was... Always a robot and just needed a new body for it. Are you sure her? I thought. I don't know. I thought it was her robot's personality was uploaded. But I'm not sure. Maybe you are right. Maybe it was a robot dog. I need to get to a mechanic and see what these red streak things were. So I picked it up and it did something. Well, we've got one here. Red tracer, a red tracer unit in it, yeah. It I, ionizes the hover exhaust to produce a red. Yeah, let's Ooh. do that. Oh, that's the standard one. Repair all damage. There we go. So now we should have red trails. Oh, yeah, look at that. I doubt it's going to make us faster, but it's still cool. I'm not sure either a real dog or a robot dog, but we know for sure his personality is in the car, dude. That's very true. Um, wait, what letters do we have as well? How many? Yeah, I think it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And, and letters that can mix into it are A, B, C, D, I believe. Coughing. Am I in the right place here? Yes. Oh, there's a package in here. Let's get this first. I don't know what all the money's for, but it's worth at least having a look. There we go. 
because the more money the better right I hope it was a robot dog because the thought of having live beings mind inside a robot freaks me out <laughs> it was probably a robot dog Control, I'm at here. the destination and no one is here. Control, Camus, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. Excited. Want to help. Can you scan the area? Local scan. Look for ID chips on possible delivery containers. I don't know how. Wait, <laughs> I know how. I think. What is box? A box is a square cube. No, what is that box? It's right there. Okay, I see it. I guess that's the package then. Why is no one here? I have bad feelings. Me too, Camus. Got the box. Okay. There's only 7,529,536 possibilities. Of course! Only! And that's if we can't take into account we're assuming it's got to be the full length so we can't assume it's got to be bb for example so <laughs> we're hoping that we're right what well, wasn't it five letters as well i think or was it six i can't remember it's such a pretty game but no, I can't break into that car. But my car's cool. I hear noise. What noise, Camus? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh dear. From the package. I hear it too. I still have bad feelings. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, this is driver 14 FC. Come in. This is important. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. Control, why is this package ticking? I'm delivering a bomb, aren't I? Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. I've been informed that you're to stop calling us about the package. <laughs> Deliver it quickly. That is all. Please, no more communication until delivery. Camus, I don't know what to do. I am nervous. Why? I am nervous because you are nervous. Maybe we can throw away the tick-tock. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. Maybe I could dump it at the trash chute in Section 8B. That sends it into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Nothing ever comes back from there. Will Mr. Control be mad? Yes, but I get a bad feeling too, Camus. I think it will be bad either way. Ooh, I want to help, doing? but don't know what to do. I know, Camus, I know. I just have to make a call on this one. I'm a delivery driver, I'll deliver the package. That's what I'm gonna do. You said A to D, yeah, so zero to nine, A to D are the possible values. There's, I believe, five options. So one, two, three, four, five, or six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, B, A, two, five, whatever. Five is the length. I'm assuming you have to put five in every time. I don't think you can put one in and not the other. Like put five, four digits in instead of five is what I'm saying. So. Next time we find somewhere we can open, we can have a look. Like a bank or something. But after I've got rid of this package. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> but he kind of freaks me out. Yeah, I can understand the freaky out part. I thought it was six. See, I don't know then. It might be six then. Uh, I need to loot, but I really need to get rid of the bomb. I want my dog to be real. I know what you mean. It's a weird concept that one day we... I don't think we're going to get used to, but we might have to. If it's only five, then the possibility is so much shorter. Yes, agreed. I guess it was nothing. We did our job, Camus. We shouldn't ask so many questions. I am not sure. You uh, want to say something? I'm agreeing, if agreeing it with is the dog. Okay? Sure. Is this a job good? 
It pays good. Are we doing good things? No more questions, please, chemist. <laughs> okay. Two roads diverged. Make a decision. Okay. Zero suit Samus. Exactly. In the event that it's only five, then it's only... Oh, wow. So it drastically drops down then. I'll get back, my, back in my car and depends what happens. I'll see if I can find a bank or something. Because that's normally where we can test it. Yeah, it's the spinning wheels I need. So if we like... Can we mark? No, I can't. Totally possible. <laughs> Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Is there anything you want to tell me about that last job? No, nothing. All right, well, I'm just glad it went okay. For your next delivery, please proceed to the following nav point to collect a package at Life Corp Industries. Oh. You'll need to find a way up to the roof of the building. Our client didn't leave us an access code, but, um, well, you're a smart kid. You'll think of something. Control out. Okay, so we need to get up there. I turn there anyway. Let's go see. Yeah, it's 14 times less. Wow. So we're hoping it's five. <laughs> it's still half a million things to try, but it's still a lot less. Brute force their access code. If it was seven values, then it'd be 14 times more iterations than six values. Oh, yeah, that's, that's quite cool that it was 14 times. I like that. Right, here we go. All right, so this one's five. Oh, no, but it's more letters. It's one to zero, zero to nine, and then A to F. So it is more, actually. It's only five, but it is more characters. So 16. Here's what I can offer you today. Eek. <laughs> Try A, B, C, D. Uh, hold on. Okay. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. 16 to the power of 5. Yes, I believe so. Try A, B, C, D, E. I'm very doubt it's going to be A, B, C, D, E, but we can try it. Nope. <laughs> 1,048,000. 1,048,576 iterations. That's still quite a lot. <laughs> Oh, we're nearly here, actually. There we go. That would be the worst case. That's if it turns out to be F, 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 F. <laughs> Hello. I'm here to collect. Sign here, please. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. And B965E. don't talk to the package. E. Don't what? You'll see what I mean. It won't shut up. It's going to Avalon Heights. They're expecting you. Goodbye, Sanity. <laughs> B96. Oh, no, that is at the top. Good. Driver 14 FC, this is control. Uh, just checking that you made that delivery. I'm on it. Checking up on me? No, we're just uh, 
What was that? I don't know, driver. The city AI acting up again? Someone exploded. Adventure, maybe? No, this felt like an explosion. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting reports over the wire right now. It, it was an explosion. Control? Was it at the Metro Hub? No, well, it was oh, in that district, but it was in the bay. In the delivery bay? Yes. Control? Did I just... Unrelated. What? Your delivery was unrelated to the explosion. But I... Authorizing a bonus payment for driver 14 FC, transferring additional funds now. Why am I being given more wow. money? Wow. Control? Um, driver 14 FC, we are not authorized to discuss previous jobs. Uh, that's in the rules. I thought they were guidelines, not rules. Please complete your outstanding <laughs> contract at Life Corp Industries. Control out. Control? Control. Camus, are you on comm? What happened? I am nervous. That was a big boom. My windows got shaky. Did we do that? No. We didn't do anything wrong. Okay. <laughs> Just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, we dropped a bomb off. Avalon is a place in GTA 2. I've heard of Avalon before, but not from GTA 2. From another game as well. Uh, here we go. So yeah, and one million editions. Let's see if I can guess this off the top of my head. So I'll start with a a B, a nine, a six, a five, and an E. Oh look at that! First time. Nothing to do with the fact they gave me the answer. Look at that! You dropped a bomb off to blow up the place. I did. I should have dropped it in the trash chute. <laughs> Avalon is a common futuristic name. That's true. That. Oh, I wonder if that takes you there. Pick up the box. Let's see what this guy says first. Oh, nothing. Bro, <laughs> I don't know why it's calling futuristic, but it is. Hello? Oh. The package is talking to me. Of course, the package is talking to me. Why wouldn't it? Let's, let's take this down and see what happens. Repair lift. Damn it. Damn. Oh, I got rid of it. Damn. I prefer it in GTA 2 that it's one of the first. Camus or Campus. I think it's Camus, isn't it? Need to look at getting some fuel. What's that? Ah, oh, salesman. Can I buy it by the Your coolant? Your face offer? looks. I can. Thanks. See you again. Install dusting.ai to the car. <laughs> I have thought about a cool video to potentially do actually. Far Cry Primal, there isn't any English in it, it's all subtitled. But maybe dubbing the video with voiceovers to make it English and uploading it. I think that might be quite cool and fun to do actually. I th I think it would be 9.5 times 10 to the power of 7%. 0.00976 chance to guess it. <laughs> so what you're saying is it is possible. <laughs> Oh, I'm going up. Why am I going up? Urban gardens. Have you seen my little one? She must be here somewhere. Little one? My white snapper! My little mouse! Have you seen her? Um, no. Sorry. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, fisherman. 
Where is it? Oh, it's a magazine. Try F F F F F. <laughs> I've already got through it now. <laughs> Did that just take me back down again? Or it's a colour code. S S S S is black, isn't it? Or is it Y? It's one of them. You don't need the FF on the end of it, because that was controlling the opacity. So you could just get away with doing FF, but FFF, but yeah. I guess it, it needs to be five dudes, doesn't it? Uh, right. Oh, a used battery. <laughs> I like how they just randomly have conversations. Try D, 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 D. You do. You do what? It's two hex colours per colour. Oh, it's six, isn't it? Is it? Because the last two... Hmm, what, what am I thinking of then, where the last two characters control the opacity? Hmm, I can't remember them. Uh, that's food. It's eight if you want an opacity. Ah, right, okay, there we go then. My mistake. <laughs> Is this going to take me all the way down? Um, no, I still have to go down. Okay. Anyway, I'll try FFFFF in my bank here. RGB paste it. Ah, right, okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> right. Five, five. I'm not. No, I'm not going to try anymore. <laughs> Come on. Let's deliver this. Hello. Pack. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Box. How are you today? Camus, we're not supposed to talk to the Box. <laughs> I completely understand. Uh, uh, are you an android too, Camus? Fine. You can answer him, Camus. I am an automata. I am a dog. Or a car. <laughs> I am a dog car. A dog How car. How strange. Hey, fella. You're a Box. I am in a Box. My name is William. What are you if you're not a box? I told you, I am William. But what are you? He's talking to the package. I was a sous chef in Little China, but not anymore. I'm moving up in the world in a way that makes me sad too. How come? Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. Really? That'll be a shame. But it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights. I can't wait. What will you Let's do up there? Fear. I don't know yet. It's exciting. Maybe I'll be working as a personal assistant to some pop star. Or maybe even a CEO. Perhaps I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire a human one day. <laughs> no offense, driver. None taken. What's it like being a driver? I love to hear about poor people. Now that I will be rich, I might even be an organizer for charity dinners. You won't be invited. <laughs> rude. So rude. Oh, wow. Well, you're nine times more likely to get struck by you lightning and you have to guess that password. Course, <laughs> but I won't talk about you. Thanks. And I've only been a driver for a little while. I was a musician. Perhaps I should be a musician. Of course, I would be too rich and too busy to learn to play. But I might get some augments so that I can perform. Maybe the saxophone. Uh-huh. Rania lost her home and we were evicted, Box. I mean, William. William. We had to move to the city. Oh, why? Debt corpse. 
Oh, yes. They can be very unpleasant. I have heard. She had to sell my body for money, too. <laughs> A circumstance with which I am familiar. I sold my body also. You see, a chef's android body is worth a lot these days. My body was the only part of me worth anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. Can we open the box to see him? I want to see the head. No, we're not allowed to open the packages. We're not supposed to speak to them either. I am sad. Place, isn't it? You'll get over it. Yeah, it is. Yes, doggy. Don't worry. One day you'll have a lovely body like mine. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm sure it will be something good. I traded my old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the Spire. Surely, they have the best android frames there, too. Oh, there we go. It's been cut off. I didn't even touch anything. Uh, the chance to get struck by lightning. Should I even ask what the skins? Hello, Bobby Ganushka. This game is cloud punk, and it's awesome. <laughs> it's so pretty. Uh, I'm a package delivery driver at the moment. Uh, I'd rather be a musician than a driver. I'd rather be a driver than a musician. That's just because I'm not a fan of making music. <laughs> what if they put a dog in a human little body? That would, wouldn't that be awkward? Yeah, it would, but it'd also be highly entertaining. Here we go. Look at this pretty game. Look how pretty it is. I feel this is a game where not a lot of people have heard of it, but it's so cool. Things could get weird. That That is true, it could get weird. I want this thing, what is it? A used battery. Didn't I send you a taxi type game like this? You did, yes. I've still got that one on my wishes because it's not done yet. Oh, I've got some items in my inventory. It's, that one's not out yet, but it is similar what I believe anyway. Ah, go back. Rubric and Never Slow Joe. <laughs> Where's my wish list? Let's find that game. Oh, I updated my Steam profile as well. It looked cool. Uh, I can't remember what yours is called, but it's on here somewhere, unless it's been removed. Where is it? Uh, these are all my wishlist games, games that I want to play or stuff like that to keep an eye on. Um, where are you? Having a real dog in a real human body would be terrible, but a robot dog in a robot human's body would be... Sh show little to no difference <laughs> something taxi yeah it is i think prison simulator vr i, I want to try that one ah mile high taxi there you go yeah that one looks really good as well it kind of just looks like fake cra crazy taxi but fifth element style <laughs> but it still looks entertaining but yes that's that one this one's very story oriented by the looks of it. To so no, 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 I got, I got what you mean, Dustin. I need to go this way. I've already just done a big circle. No, I haven't. Okay. Look at the real time reflections, though. They're so pretty. Here's what I can offer you today. Here's what I can offer you today. A racer jacket and some yellow shades. Let's get some yellow shades. Uh, 
There we go. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Right. Get a shade. Oh, cool. the future of and the world. Yeah, don't tell him cool. I love how in this game you can just zoom out of third person and first person whenever. Triple A games don't even do that, so that's really impressive. Remember, we didn't talk to the package. Hello? We have a delivery? His name is William? I'm the supervisor for this shift. Domestic Android Supervisor, Reginald Esquire Buckley Senior. You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> no. I am a refuse disposal officer with cleaning functions. <laughs> the senior refuse disposal officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digitlux cleaning unit 3000. And you will be working on the 3287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. Sorry for <laughs> what? I am to be the junior apprentice. Please pass me over to Mr. Buckley. I am keen to get to work. And you do understand that we can no longer be friends, right? I like you and your pet human, but it just wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh, I understand. I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. There we go, we did it. And we got a speed booster, awesome. Uh, all those puzzles real time, let's have a look. Um, Ah, you might have cracked it actually. The puddles might be fake. One powerful vacuum, it really is. <laughs> do you miss William? I do not. Okay, me neither. Well, we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have a home. Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a Cloudpunk salary. No pool, no butler. <laughs> I'm not even sure we have running water. Maybe we can go somewhere nicer if Cloudpunk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Nivalis. You need to prepare yourself for that. Even this place might be too expensive. We can't afford to mess up. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. Oh dear. I understand. So don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> I am still excited. I'm going to my home. Awesome. Um, They should have said we'd have a box William should have told Yes, exactly. They probably screwed it there. But is this coming up? Oh, maybe I can't go down then. Yet. Perfect, he sucks anyways. <laughs> That's such a terrible pun. So terrible. Day to jump. There's no jump. You can't. I tried pushing off and it wouldn't let you. It stops you physically. Also, if Markiplier played this game, who would freak out over cameras? He would. He absolutely would. He would absolutely get a kick out of cameras. <laughs> How do I get out? What's through here? Let's have a look. Well, whatever that is, it worked. Right, let's go see what my house is. Oh, I've gone too far. There we go. I don't remember parking all the way over here. Maybe I did. Yeah, look, you can't jump down. I don't think you can even die in this game. Okay. 
he did the start of the playthrough and Mark would do that weird laugh he always does on that. <laughs> Probably. But it'd be entertaining. It, it's a house but not a home. That's what it sounds like. Well, actually, let's go get this speed boost. Speed booster! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You heard that. Install a speed booster. You couldn't pay me to live in this world, really? I'd absolutely live in this world. Oh wow, this is much faster already. Nice! So I'm as fast in outside of the thermal conductors as than I was before previously when I was in it. So I'm very fast now. I'd rather go back 30 years, not forward. Really? No, I'd absolutely go forward 30 years. Let's park here so we're close to the exit. But it's not for everyone. Hey, I, I love technology, I love the future. So I'd much rather be there, but I know a lot of people are skeptical about it and don't want to do it, which is fully understandable. Uh-oh, who are you? Gaz, good time. What are you looking for? Whatever it is, my God. Oh, you're a merchant. I don't want you. Oh, black sunglasses, a purse. Thanks. I want you, Evelyn. Hey, come back any time, lady. Hello, Evelyn. Do I know you? Do I know you? What? If Tech I knew scares you, me. I might not know. <laughs> it is Let me it's try not this for again. everyone. Why are you hanging around outside my apartment? Are you with the Debt Corp or Corpsec? Are you spying on me? I am your neighbor. Shouldn't you be in your apartment then? I am waiting to talk with you. What do you want? I want to know if I know you, if we used to know each other, if we were friends. No, I just moved in. I've never met you before. Are you okay? No. You're an android, right? So did you have a firmware upgrade that went wrong or something? I hear those can cause androids to lose their memories, I think. No. Do you remember my friend, Dr. Zizic? We live next door. No, I told you I just moved in. She is missing. I am alone. Look, I'm really busy. I just moved here and I barely have any money. I don't want money. Why would you say that? I didn't ask you for money. I'm sorry. I just don't know if I'm the best person to help you. I don't know anyone else. There's some homeless shelters for androids downtown. I have a home. What do you think I can do for you? There is a card. It was posted into your mail. I think it is for me. That's it? Just a card? Yes, I need it. It is how I will start to come back to me. That is a bit sad, but we'll find it and help her. Absolutely. Lots of 80s neon. It really is lots of 80s neon, but it's so pretty. Oh, wow. Camus, can you read me? I'm in the apartment. You're authorized to access the systems in here. I am here. It is amazing. There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, I guess. A bit sparse. I'd love to be able to decorate, you know, make it less clinical. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes, they landed on the window ledge. I could never catch them. Yeah, not much <laughs> chance of wildlife here. There are rats. I detect almost 50 within the property. Oh dear. Do me a favor, Camus. Never mention rats again. Okay. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. Ugh, also not good. Come on, we should get back to work. If I get a bonus tonight, maybe I can buy a picture. Or a mirror, or something. 
Oh, I can upgrade my apartment. Awesome. What is the purpose of this game? I don't get it. <laughs> it is so good. Oh, I've got a call coming in. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Come in. We need you to deliver a package to the Sin Wave nightclub. You're going to have to deliver in person to the rooftop. That's where you can access the VIP area. So I just go to the door and... <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, kid. This one is gonna be tricky, but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? No. He's the owner of the club. And most of this sector, too. He's got a piece of every business in the Undertown. And he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful around him. I will. Are they expecting me? Sure. I'm just letting you know you might come up against some resistance. These are powerful people, so watch what you say. Powerful people? Let's just say they're very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. You will ah. have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14 FC? Yeah? This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. And if you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. What past infractions? I've not done anything. Yeah, but if you can't die, what's the purpose? It is very weird. Um, she wanted a picture. Should we get her a picture? We don't have a picture. Let's get her. A, let's get a certain music player. Nice. Ah, that's good. Ah. Oh, well, here we go. We've got a music player. Which doesn't work. We've got a video games console, which doesn't work. And we've got a dog house. Yay. Man lost friend. Man lost family. You helped explode a chunk of the city. A woman lost friend. It... Yeah. <laughs> they sound like a futuristic mob. I think they are. There's been nothing good. We, we gave Win um, William a home. A new home. We got our doggy friend back. They're all good. That's a good thing, isn't it? I thought it crashed them. I think they've been good. Right, so we need to find that woman again. She's there, look. Hello, Evelyn. I found the card. You can have it. Thank you. So, what is it? A punch card. Which is... A relic. Dr. Zizitz liked old things. Antiques. Our home is filled with grandfather clocks, teapots, DVD players. But this card... I know this is just the first of many. Where are the rest? You don't want me to check with all our neighbors, do you? The rest were with Dr. Zizic. They are scattered. So, where is Dr. Oh, Zizic? That's what I've been picking up, She is also scattered. You mean... Last month, the 1875B shuttle for Phobos took off from Terminal B while the launch bay doors were still closed. One of a series of systemic failures that took place across a range of Navalis's safety protocol algorithms, the explosion caught over 100 vehicles in the blast radius, including Dr. Zizic's home. Oh, hobo. that's sad. So she's... I'm sorry. You did not know her, but thank you. She was your flatmate? We were best friends. We came to Navalis together. We met at the periphery. She was the last doctor to leave. I was the last surgeon. So you are Dr. Evelyn? Although I was conferred the title, none of the humans used it. But if you were operating and saving lives, you were a doctor. If no one calls you a doctor or treats you like one, you are not a doctor. Still, you were saving lives and... Please do not tell me how to label myself. <laughs> Sorry, so the periphery? I hear it was pretty dangerous out there. It was, but Nivalis is dangerous too. Is it better here, in the city? I saw terrible things at the periphery, but there was hope. Friends. I have not found those things here yet. Will you set up practice here in Nivalis? I don't know. Dr. Zizic had a plan for us, but it is no longer in my memories. I guess I can look for these pages. I travel around the city, so... 
It would help me a great deal. Please bring me any you find. I will. And if you need anything else, well, we're neighbors, right? We can look out for each other. Yes, neighbors. Okay, good. We've got 9 out of 20, so we're already doing very well. Your dog is stuck in a light was so kind the robot you helped was just rude. He was rude, but he was going to do something he was happy with. That's the other that's the difference. He was going to be what he wanted. So yeah, it's I'm liking this game. This is really cool. Play my car. Sanitizer. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute, I need a drink.
and gentlemen, I'm sorry about that. My missus asked me very nicely if I could set her up the PS2 so she can play Ratchet and Clank, the original. <laughs> um, uh, sad news, this game is great but something feels off I'm freestyling to this jam. <laughs> This game's awesome. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this game. The driving is just so... It's just all so nice. How much is this game worth? £8. Absolutely worth it. Oh, it's DLC too. I absolutely recommend this to anybody who wants to wants something just fun to try. Uh, let's go in the motorway. Zoom. This is a nice game. It is a really nice game. I'm glad this one came up. I got it part of a humble bundle, so. I'm glad we got the speed boost on because it's saving loads of time going to where we need to. Let's go see here actually, there's a bunch of stuff here. I can imagine your voice on Bob's Burgers. My voice? Why my voice? Oh, we're back in the first city again. How do we get up? Luckily, the only game I scored on Humble Bundle was a cat dating game. Right? <laughs> See, I know a few people, in, including me, who pay for the Humble Bundle subscription. It's something like $15 a month, but you get 9 or 12 games free every month. Completely free on Steam. So, I did beat the game. Nice ending, but the gameplay was weird. Why was it so weird? Oh, I'm at the right place anyway. Oh, score. We have his package, but will Lomo think we are undercover corpsec? We don't look like undercover corpsec. What would undercover corpsec look like, Camus? <laughs> I guess maybe like us. We have to act natural, not suspicious. Exactly. It is hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed. You know what else doesn't help? Talking too much? You're learning fast, Camus. <laughs> We're seriously low on money, actually. Soon. Oh, what's that blue bar around for? I've just noticed it. The game's good, but it's not too good on telling you what the UI means. Like, some of it is self... You know, you just don't, you just get it. It was a cat dating game. Of course that's going to be weird. <laughs> I think that the... The smashing is just somebody clapping, to be honest. You had to date cats to beat the game. Were you a cat yourself, or was it just some random person going around dating cats? Yeah, the more I crash into people, the more I realise that I'm thinking it really is just somebody clapping. You had to date cats to beat the game. Some random person. So you were really just a human dating cats. Uh, was it like Nico cats, like cos cosplay, or was it actual bestiality cats? Cause that's weird. <laughs> 
So we found where we need to go, but no parking. Here we go. Six people dating six cats and Sherlock Holmes was there too. This is a really weird game that you got. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, I think we found another thing here. Is it another one for Evelyn? Yes. That's a merchant. We've got some stuff to sell and get some more money to upgrade what are you our apartment. Looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. I got it. Speepius reduced the vapor drift says so they are I don't know what that is, but we sold it anyway. Because I already got Thanks. a speed booster, didn't I? Hey, come back any time, lady. I actually was able to guess what the game was about before actually playing it. It was quite predictable. Ow. <laughs> oh, we got another one. I think. Oh no, we just got and we got an Elka. <laughs> we got the the Legend of Zelda thing. <laughs> That's cool. Trading card, awesome. Also, I'm not going to talk about the cat that was a computer hacker. <laughs> Bouncer. Who are you? I'm here to deliver a package. Sure you are. Fuck off. Look, I need to get past. They're expecting me in the VIP area upstairs. Make it worth my while. How? I don't have much money. I don't want money. Get me some juice. Juice? Tram and all bottles. Corpsack aren't allowed to hold them. So if you bring me some, I know you ain't a cop and I can sell them. You from the East, lady? You're good, but no corpsack. Got it? Thanks. You folks from the East are good with me, but no sec. Nice game, bro. Thanks, Boggy Twitch. How you doing, buddy? You well today? Not a bad idea. <laughs> I brought your juice. All right, go ahead. How? Just go through here. Yep, there we go. Ooh, fancy club. Still raining though. I want to get this parcel first. Oh, nice music. Is your game like this? No, no, no. My game's not futuristic. My game's set mid 1970s ish with a twist a big twist i'm the delivery driver i have your package you're not carmine he used to run my packages he retired retired eh you know who i am driver lomo that's right you bring me packages no questions no mistakes we'll be friends if you let me down probably not I understand. What's your name? Rania. Well, Rania, I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? <sighs> sure. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea. But we still swim in it. If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Not really. I don't get it either. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. Oh. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nevalis, and some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving, 
War das dann? I think so. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> That's creepy. Not sure if he's threatening me or not. Camus does not approve. No, he does not. How do I get out again? There we go. Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through OpenWeb and PubWeb. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate, can be uttered as a blessing or a curse, can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name, can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics, theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the... Okay, that's plenty. <laughs> you know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, Chemis. Should I look it up? Wait, we have an incoming call. Get you there. Ready for another job? Sure thing. Hey, Control, what is Cora? Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Pick up a drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Control out. Never Slow Chemis, Joe. Chemis, are you there? Here. Chemis, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. I see it everywhere, and there was something about Control's reaction, it means something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. You don't have a head, Chemist. You're running on a low clock speed processor, <laughs> so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus Automata now offline. There we go. You met him yet? Who do you mean? Rubric. We're not best friends. Why? He took my place. I was Lomo's number one hacker. What happened? There were lines I wouldn't cross. So you're an ethical hacker? You say that like it's an oxymoron. I... I guess it's not. I've known hackers who were good people, I guess. You want some free advice? Stay away from Rubric. Lomo will use you to get what he wants, but Rubric will be the one that cuts your future short. That's what happened to you? Not yet. He'll get me one day. I hope not. Oh, I don't doubt it. Camus smart. Camus is very smart. So there's another item around here. It might be a letter. I just need to find it. But it looks like I might not be able to get across from here. Rainier and Camus are the best team. Yes, they are. <laughs> Very good. They listen to each other, which is the best part.
There we go. It won't let me go over. I'm enjoying this game more than I thought I would. I know what you mean. It's very entertaining. It said I needed to pick some up. I wonder if I can pick it up from here. If not, I can repair my vehicle at least. Neon Tracer. Speed booster. Let's repair it, but no, we can't get what we need yet. Boom. <laughs> some more money. So every time we discover a new area we get money then. That's useful. Because that's half paid for the repair. Here we go. Emmett's garage. Cop suit cameras. <laughs> I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? Sure. You don't know what it is, do you? Nope. It regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grav lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. Uh, You're not listening, are you? I think they need this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. You better get going. <laughs> what do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. <laughs> it was really iffy then, weren't it? It's like, I know you're not interested. You might be interested, but you're not interested. So... <laughs> Actually, 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 there's a letter there. Let's go and get that first. My toe is sad. Your toe will be sad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where's this? Rare videotape game. Oh, that's illegal. Shop owner. Here's what I can offer you today. Let's see if we can sell it, because that was illegal. The advertisement said earlier. Oh, that's actually it. Okay. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. You're listening to Toe Radio. <laughs> ah, I don't want to become famous. Stop it. Live in stereo. Nice. We've got a person around here. Tico, oh, it's him again. Hey, Tico, right? 
Did you have any luck finding... Nari? No, I don't know what to do. When did you last see her? I don't know how to answer that question. Months? Years? Uh... You don't know? So where did you last see her? Back in Tokyo, during the Sakura. We had a picnic in the park. Tokyo? Sorry, I don't know the city very well. Is that below Midtown? It is a different city. You mean like a different district? When I last saw her, it was not in Nivalis. Sorry, Tico, I think you might be getting confused. There is only Nivalis. Everything west is just townships and settlements. There are no more cities. This is it. We grew up together. I've known her since I was 13. Tico, that must have been a very long time ago. I don't really understand when people talk like that. You don't understand what? Time? When people say the feelings are from long ago, they don't change. The people you cared about when you were young, have those feelings gone away? I guess not, but some of them aren't around to love anymore. I don't understand. We sat under the cherry blossoms. She ate fresh strawberries, and we watched the sun rise together every day through the summer. Then one day the sun rose, and it was too bright. Far too bright. Her family said they would have to move away. That's sad. I think your memories go back very far, Tico. Nari and I grew up together. Even after the big sunrise when she moved away, all I wanted was to see her again. When she left, it was like I didn't exist anymore. When she moved to Tokyo, we would see each other less and less often. Then, one day, it is not fair. I moved here from far away, too. I know how you feel. Are you alone here, too? Not quite. I have one friend, maybe two. I have to keep looking for Nari. She might be looking for me, too. Where will you go next? I have heard people live in the thermal vents where they use the steam to stay alive. I will look for Nari there. She always liked the bathhouses. That sounds like a good plan. Do you think the vents will be like the bathhouses back in our village? I don't think so, Tico. But you never know. Well, he's still not having ended up finding him then, is he? There's a bunch of stuff that way. I think it's this way. Yeah, it is. It's become a world order. It does sound like it has become a world order. All countries have become one and now it's all left is small settlements. It does indeed sound like that. But it does look to be a mixture of everything. Oh, we got another one. Oh, that one's up there. Chocolate milk will win. Why chocolate milk? Chocolate milk will rule. Chocolate milk already rules. <laughs> Used battery, awesome. I hope this is another one of evidence things. No, it's not. It's just a fly. Make sure Mortal Kombat Mystification wins. Death by Mortal Kombat. Sue Aerospace. Hex. Safeguard. Fort Asuka.
a Sucre is in GTA 3 character. I think that's what it said. But I can't say anymore. I need to go up here to find that thing. Here we go, let's come back down there. The Yakuza have risen again. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're taking another one. Awesome. Right. Let's get back down there. Huh? I'm too afraid to come back up so I can get down to get to my car. Here we go. Right, I'm going to be back in one minute. I'm back. 
do the five hydrate. Five, five, three, four. Have you been Googling the codes? <laughs> I've got a feeling you've been Googling the codes, Mr. Dustin. Hello, hello. How do I get out again? It is this way, isn't it? Nope, your guess. <laughs> um, that way. Freeing you from restrictions, breaking barriers. No, that is that way. Konima is Nibalis. Konima Enterprises. I love taking off, it's so cool. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a street race, isn't it? Where is Never Slow Joe? Are you part of the race? I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Seriously? You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. Without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. Where is it? Can't see in there, so that Shelly's got to be up there. Even park to get it in. <laughs> we'll just park there then. This delivery business is more like gang than legit business. Agreed. There's something definitely weird about it. I think she's doing it to just survive though. That's the biggest thing. Isn't this literally just where we were? Because it feels like it. I don't get it, honestly. I think she lives in a city that's really poor and she's racked up loads of debt. So she's tried to get any job she can and illegal deliveries has come along and that's what she's doing. Everyone seems like a good and bad person simultaneously. Are you never slow, Joe? No, I am currently very slow, Joe. You got my converter? Yeah. Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm going to give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs. These converters are worth a lot of money? Well, they sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe here. Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're braver <laughs> than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. Ah, that's no good. My name's no good? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like it. All right. On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. 
This guy seems nice. He did seem nice, yes. Wow, his car does seem faster than mine. A lot faster. That's cool. You wanted me to try this, didn't you? I am back. Oh. Did you hear all of that? On the run, Rania? I don't like it. He's a racer, nope, not a poet, didn't work. Thomas. <laughs> Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? Hmm. I really should probably send it back because that's the morally good thing to do, isn't it? Even though I might be protecting the old man. But I don't care about the old man because he's, I don't know who he is. No, I'm, I'm going to give it back. I'm going to do the right thing. Because Emmett needs his money. He seemed nice enough. I'm gonna get back to Emmy because he seemed nice and Hi, Emmett. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize <laughs> money. So he won't need to retire. Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. See, that was the right thing to do. I like the Ramis vibe. Well, Ramis vibe. I found out more about Cora. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No, if you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. Get yourself a coffee. Oops. <laughs> by death. <laughs> so calmly. There we go, I think. Oh no, that's not where he wants me to get coffee, is it? Is there anything I can get here? do the right thing. It was the right thing. It's a dog eat dog world, no time for morals. That is also true. This world is very struggling and I don't have a lot of money in the world, but at least that little bit of good, eh? If we, if we were to play it again, for some reason, I'd probably do all the wrong things next time. The right thing is giving it back. That's true, but the wrong thing would have, might have given me a lot of money. Giving that part back could lead to Joe's death, but that's his choice. That's, that's also true. Hey, driver 14 FC, you can't be bumping that hopper around the city like that. You're gonna have to hit a repair station. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out of the standard Cloudpunk Hava damage penalty fine. Oh, so I need to repair as well. I basically crashed too much. <laughs> But yeah, like I say, if we play it again, I'd definitely do the opposite of everything I'm doing now. It's got some nice music in it. There's a person there who wants to speak to me. Let's go see what he wants. And there's loads of items here too. There we go. It's very possible racing him 
is dangerous for his age. It's true. Andy. Excuse me. I am not usually permitted to speak, but I need help. I'm really busy. It will only take a moment. Really busy. I have no one else to ask. No one else but the million people walking past as we speak? I need to stop talking to randos oh, the on the street. Too. You do me more kindness by acknowledging me than anyone else has shown. Damn it. What do you want? A ride. I knew it. No way. I will pay you. I'm not a taxi. I know. Cloudpunk, right? I recognize your car. You're a delivery driver. So deliver me. I deliver packages, not people. You're not a package. Actually, I am. Uh-huh. Listen, this has been lovely, but I have to... I am not lying. Look at my ID card. Here it is. Okay, it lists your owner. Weird. That doesn't make you a package, though. It makes me property. Ask your automata. Camus, can you check this ID? 1-14-4-25-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-4-15-
Well, they want a sex doll, or something like a sex doll. So, a lot of the time, I just lie there. Didn't Android sex dolls have more functions? Later models did, but the early ones just lay there. Sometimes they made noises. Fascinating. I'm not sure I can go through with this. Please, just leave me at the Vinculum Ascender. My owner will collect me from the spire. I don't know. Camus, I think maybe we should take Andy somewhere else. What do you think? I am not sure. Where could we take him? Midtown? At least he'd be safe there. Safe? With no money, no job, and no owner? Maybe it is better to leave him in Midtown. I don't think people should be able to stop being people and become things instead. Me neither. But it is what I want. Quiet, I need to think. No, I'm going to take him where it needs to be. I mean, it could happen there is a guy who married a doll in Japan. That's very true. I'm going to take him to his owner. It's what he wants, and that's the right thing to do. We shouldn't be making his decisions. So I'm going to do what he wants. Next time, we'll take over. <laughs> Why it made me go all this way and then undid it again, I'm not sure at all, but I really need to repair my car soon as well. Let him do it once, exactly, that's what I'm going to do. Thank you for respecting my choice. I think you should reconsider. Here is your money. Goodbye. I can't believe he is an object. He seems so much like a person. I'm not so sure. Can I ask another question about the sex? Absolutely not. <laughs> there we go. We let him did what he wants, and I, th I think that was the right decision on this part, because we shouldn't be making these decisions for him. He is perfectly capable of making his decisions, so... Oh, awesome, we got even more. Is that all of them here? There's a guy over there, let's go see what he wants. Yamaki. Yahama Yamaki? It is Yamaki, isn't it? Thing up where. This is taking some right walking, this is. Can't he really make decisions or is it programmed? Exactly, that's the other thing. It might be fake. Emotions. But it also might be Whatever real emotions. I got, I got it. Cybernetic harm. I ain't got enough. Damn. Oh, well, that was it. Thanks. Hey, come back anytime. Hey, delivery driver. Hey, engineer. Did you see any blinking street signs? Thankfully, no. Did you figure out what was causing all the accidents? Not sure. Continued and sustained entropic breakdown of a complex system. So that's not an easy fix, right? It is not. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe painting. Or I could take up photography. Something visual. I might even try sewing. No one sews these days. I mean about the city. You can't just quit. That's too far gone. Anything I do now has as much chance of costing lives as saving them. And last week, I had my men close off a section of the freeway for repairs. I diverted the traffic through a different neighborhood. Then it collapsed. What collapsed? The road? Uh-uh. The whole neighborhood. It's under the ocean now. That's not your fault. Well, it sure feels like my fault. Can't someone else help? How about the people up in the spire? Who are you kidding, lady? They don't give a crap. Sorry. Maybe a painter then? You won't be short of inspiration. 
Oh, yeah. I can move down to the slums and paint the reflection of the sun on the waves as they swallow the city. The slums? No savings, then? On an engineer's salary? <laughs> Good joke, lady. So that guy's going to become a painter. Not sure I'm cut out for this. <laughs> Right. So to a repair, get some coffee, and then eventually find all Evelyn's punch cards. Right. We'll keep following this. Maybe we'll get a punch card. Maybe we'll go past the repair shop. Because my car's very smoky now. That can't be a good sign. Can't be a good sign at all. <laughs> and every little crash makes it worse. Oh, got some more money. Awesome. I still love flying above everything and below. It's so cool. Cars really need uh -oh. repair now. The repulsors have gone to low power mode. Damage status amber. Amber? Have I really crashed that often? Often enough that I wonder if your vision is malfunctioning. <laughs> Was that attitude, Camus? When you hit things, it hurts me a little. I barely hit anything. Yes, just the green hova and the red one and the side of that building. And. All right, I'm still getting the hang of driving in this city. So, what do we do? Maybe we don't need to tell Cloudpunk if we fix the damage quickly. We need one of those repair station places. Amber alert, though. Why? The light appears on your dashboard. That's what that light means. <laughs> what colors does it go through? Amber 1, Amber 2, Amber 3, and black. How do you know when it's a black alert? The light goes off. Oh. Right. Why not different colors? Because you would need to change the light bulb. <laughs> right. There we go. So we absolutely need to get to a repair station, and I broke my car quite badly. But we're almost finished with Evelyn's mission, at least. Oh wow, this car's much slower now. But there's a guy who's right there, thankfully. Yeah, I don't even speed up when I get here. Wow. Right, let's repair. Pay my car. There we go. Plus steel bumpers, yes. Yeah, we'll see. Yellow tint. Okay, we're all good. What does plus steel bumpers do? How do I equip it then? Oh, I might have already equipped it. Apparently, we've got. We're less prone to damage now. Which is good. A fourteen FC. We did a 
status check on your vehicle performance, and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your Hava, she'll look after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. This is still an immensely pretty game. Very, very beautiful. Almost there. I need to get a coffee. It does make me wonder what would happen if I chose all the other decisions, like if I put the bomb in the trash rather than in the building, if I took the android away, if I sold the stuff. First go here and get loads of the bits and bobs in case do any Evelyn stuff. Who are you? Ma'am, have you found anything of interest? Can't say that I have. If you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. Like what? Weird. Right. Let's go and get these items and speak to that random guy. Dynamite Simpson. Hey, come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark exotic eyes, right? <laughs> Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. <laughs> and you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. <laughs> We're not savages. We're farmers. And we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician. Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This will be perfect <laughs> in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from wow, your mother. Wow, 300. Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Nice, I got paid quite a lot. <laughs> there we go, oh, 16. No. Your mother's flower. 
You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. I used it as a bookmark. Does nice. it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. Nice. She's so got him. Haldo. Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office, a debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Awesome. What a nice person. Coffee guy. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like Hova oil? This is well, crazy. Well, I was Why going it to crazy? say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. So, you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? <laughs> no. I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and Avo from the new hipster place uptown. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. <laughs> well, I just got massively flirted with by another man. Well, then again, we are a woman today. Hello, Danya. Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh, yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. <laughs> Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope, still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operates That is old, now, it is really but old. But we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So this was a game people played on a screen? Oh, yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory, and the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure, but what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite, you walked along a street, and you punched everyone you came across. We believe these old games were deeply symbolic. Like Sisyphus with the rock. Right. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? 
Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment, but the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. Oh nice, a hundred times every time I get it. We're smart. We are smart. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Sounds like everyone was getting shot or something. Unauthorized street races have been reported in this sector. 17 out of 20, we're almost there. Danya is nice. She was very nice. She helped us out and everything. To Neo's Neo. Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? That's good. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Tasty of the maggot pizza. Oh, got a call. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. He does sleep, that is right, because he powers down. I guess you go down. offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Korra. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep! Sure. <laughs> Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Korra now. Three distinct data points of origin for Korra. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, uh -oh. too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> <laughs> Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora. 
Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. The Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Korra is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Korra, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Oh, no. I said something dumb. Actually, yes, Camus, did say something I think dumb. donut coffee <laughs> sounds pretty great. Oh, we got a vertical repulsor. Awesome. Hi. I, uh, found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities. Or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be... Give it to me. Now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. Remote destination. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Hmm, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said... Nothing happened again. Oh Stop dear. pressing the button. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. Oh dear. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. <laughs> I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. <laughs> I like it. Return the suspicious item. Driver 14 FC, are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything Ouch. okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. 
Okay, what you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. <laughs> tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. Fessahetic, Control. So I'm Arabic as well. That's interesting. Okay, so I can't go that way. I'm just looking to see if I can find the um, papers to finish off Evelyn's punch cards. I need to find a way to get down. Oh. No, that's just some electronics. Oh. How do I get down then? So if I can get down, ah, there we go. I see the pink elevator thing. Here we go. So this is going to take me down, so I can look for the more of those papers. Because I only need three more. Well, this is a proper city place. This one, nice. Really, just got some a human hand. Oh well, I guess some like he's, like she says, somebody might want it back. <laughs> Falconer. Hey, are you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Just one hundred limbs. No. Would you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. <laughs> They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Ah, where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, uh, until the big dust storms hit back in the Year of the Dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are <laughs> real falcons. So he's a con man. Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money. It says there are zero viewers. It says two on mine. So that's not too bad. Are you the delivery person? Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. Limbs, com, holocrons, augments, everything I own. 
Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Can I go up? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, so he's on his own. So we've got two more documents and a person. Hey, Rania, you met that guy going on the Ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the Ascension takes him to the Spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. Oh, None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded different. Oh, okay. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Chemist. I have to think. Ah, uh, that's true. That's that's a difficult one, actually. Do we do what our job says to do? Or do we do the right thing and give it to his family? Hey, Jimmy. Hey, got a minute? Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. Whoa. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? Get out. You gotta know, everyone does. <laughs> they, they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. I always say if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was. You was listening. You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, <laughs> if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always comes back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're gonna invest in them one day. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna invest in it. Thank you very much, Jimmy. I need to get over there to get that somehow. Hmm. Traffic in this sector is above safe limits. Please drive carefully. Carelessness, cost, profit. 
Maybe it's here. Oh, there we go. We added the electronics to it. Okay, let's see if we can find paper now. So I don't know what to do. Do I return it to his family like he wanted, which was... It's a nice thing to do, but then again, I've got my job to do. Everything else I've done has been job focused, so I might do that. One more. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll return it to control, like he said. After all, after all, it is my job. Let's get some fuel soon as well. Right, here we go. Oh, there's some more here, look. I have, re I have really just got to run around the long way. <laughs> this will take me to where I need to go. Here we go. And, oh, last one. We've done it. Memory collector. I hate doing this. Being a delivery driver? No, paying off a dead man's debts. At least we won't get in trouble. I hate this city. There we go. I did the right thing for the company though. If I didn't, like I said, I might have got in trouble. <laughs> Sound good, Control. What? Well, I'm fine. Uh, if I could just sleep. Oh, he's drunk. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point. Collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just... Do your goddamn job. Control out. Oh dear. Sounds a bit cranky. Right, here we go. Okay, I've got nothing else to pick up, so we'll go back here. But I can upgrade my car, I believe. This game is getting weird. It is very weird. But... That is awesome. There we go. Are you going to pay through the entirety of it? Tonight, probably not. No, I'm getting tired now. 
what time is it? It's half one in the morning here and I'm getting a bit tired but I'm gonna see I'm gonna go for a bit longer but I am gonna keep playing it another day yeah because I'm really enjoying it whether we come back and do a part two I'm not sure it's in a bit all negative part let's go see Evelyn first What does my thrusters do? Scooped up Republic soils almost no drag for quicker ascents. Oh, it just basically means I go up and down quicker. Okay. I'm gonna get cops later. Little China. Sounds like a helicopter when he's driving. Wow, look at the size of the maps. Some really large maps on here and levels. Guessing my house is around the other side. Yeah. So we're gonna give her this. Cause it's all her memories now, isn't it? I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizic was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizic knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with a standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium, from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizic locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. I need more time and more punch cards. Please bring me any you find. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Find more bloody punch cards. Ah, well. We can upgrade my apartment now, though. Oh, cool. Aw. Sweet. Cool. Oh, nice. Not bad. Awesome. Nearly fully upgraded the house. We got a plant part. We got a, a photo of Joe, a dog house, some lights. My favorite. Perfect. I like it. 
Yes, please. Yes, please. Aha. Love it. Yes. There we go. A very large pizza. I love this game. It's so imaginative and I love it. Look at how pretty it is. Right, I think I'll go and do one last parcel pickup. Then I will save it and call it a stream because I'm getting tired now. I've been going for a good four or five hours, I think. I don't know how long Spyro was. Let's go have a look. But I really, really enjoyed playing this game. I'm glad we went with this one. That's away. So Spyro was two hours, 40 minutes. This is three hours, 30 minutes nearly. So yeah. Good five six hours. Thanks God. What, what we thank it? <laughs> and even and Python randomness. That is true. Thank you to everybody who voted too. away for a second and that was it a crash <laughs> right, almost there Let's see if we're gonna be where I need to be or it's gonna be another turn oh no it is where we need to be awesome Well, we've got to get the parcels anyway, because she wants more of them now, doesn't she? Oh, that must be up then. There's one. Okay, there's not really anything else, but there is an elevator, so we'll go and see if we can take that. Oh, it's just put us across. Okay. That might work. Ah, we're going down, are we? Almost there. There we go. Down we go. Warrior. <laughs> 
Do we want to know what laser tip tipped battle axes are? Kind of, but kind of not at the same time, I think. <laughs> so where's this ticking us then? It's the same we do need to be up. So where's this taking us? It says took us up again, I think. Yeah, okay, yeah, so they take us up, fine. Which means we can now find this person. There he is. Mrs. Octavius Butler. I'm the delivery driver. I'm here to pick up something. Yes, you're here to take our original Corbet. Huh? It's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. Butler, too. I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers. What is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem, and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Let's be going then. I want to see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. And I don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. Smoked fish. Yeah, I guarantee they didn't tell the company that. Oh my. This is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree. Very nice indeed. <laughs> Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met. Sure. <laughs> Well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. I love him for who he is. Well, I guess that's a good thing, I guess. At least she's happy. That's the important thing, I think. Inside, not what his outer skin is made of. It's a polymer plastic. <laughs> oh, you are hilarious. What was I saying? Oh, yes, we met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. I'm Come in on. HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. <laughs> and now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hypergentrification, oh they're forced out instantly. So she's buying a house and kicking people out, potentially. Instead of being pushed out over months and years, it's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. People who argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. What freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here. Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. 
Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the Holocron just today that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost <laughs> at our destination. Splendid. Maggot pizza. That's the achievement you earlier. You see, Mr. Octavius Butler, look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't hearken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We are all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. <laughs> Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice It is here. very weird. We're very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> Oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. Yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. Right. That was a really, really random mission. Not gonna lie. Let's return to my hover, which is not that one, it's this one. God, this is why I'm not a taxi driver. I didn't like them. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them, less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? <laughs> no, Camus. I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's all we can do. Hmm. So... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about... music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine, but we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp-approved pop stars. They sound so... empty. Hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about Corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz? You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune in to the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. <laughs> Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? 
I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba ba ba. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right, sorry. Dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's Cloudpunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. This is so good that it's an actual radio. I don't think I can change songs or anything. I think it's just a little bit a part of it. But yes, so I am going to actually call it a stream now. We've had a very, very long time playing games and it's been a lot of fun. Big Court Radio versus Pirate Normal Radio. But yes, thanks to everyone for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. It was lots and lots of fun playing this new game. We've got another item in the inventory as well. Hook Slayer. View badge progress. How close are we? I mean, we've got three more. But yes, thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to see you all next time.